AMD has officially revealed the release dates, prices and performance of the highly anticipated Ryzen 7 7800X 3D, Ryzen 9 7900X 3D and 7950X 3D processors featuring 3D vCache technology. Let's start with the specifications recap. Top of the stack, Ryzen 9 7950X features 16 cores and 32 threads with 5.7 GHz boost, 144MB of cache and 120W TDP. Ryzen 9 7900X 3D is a 12-core 24-thread CPU with 5.6 GHz boost, 140MB of cache and 120W TDP. Ryzen 7 7800X 3D has 8 cores and 16 threads with 5 GHz boost, 104 MB of cache and the same 120 Watt TDP. 7900X 3D and 7950X 3D will be available in stores from February 28th at $599 and $699 respectively. 7800X 3D will be available a bit later, from 6th of April with a $449 price tag. Fun fact, an 8-core Ryzen 7 7700X also launched at $449 back in September last year, but it is now sitting at $349. Now let's discuss the performance. AMD did share some benchmarks data, but their charts are not easy to understand as is the case with most marketing materials from these companies. I took the liberty to reverse engineer some of the benchmark results to put them on the same page with other processors using a metric we all understand best – frames per second. So bear in mind that these results are not 100% accurate, but still good enough to get a general understanding of where these X3D processors will land in terms of performance compared to the competition. Cyberpunk 2077 is one of the games that favors Intel processors. But even ignoring that, 7800X3D is only 4% faster than the rest of the Ryzen 7000 series processors, including 7600X so not a great result. On the other hand, F1 2022 paints a completely different picture. Here 7800X3D absolutely dominates. It is 15% faster than 13900K and 36% faster than 7950X. 7800X3D brings home another win in Shadow of the Tomb Raider, beating 13900K by 4% and 7950X by 13%. The next chart features Ryzen 9 7950X 3D. In Watch Dogs Legion it is 9% faster than 13900K and beats the regular 7950X by 18%. Horizon Zero Dawn favors AMD processors, so no wonder that 7950X 3D stomps the 13900K as well as KS and brings a 6% improvement versus the regular 7950X in this game. From what I have seen so far, it is fair to conclude that there are games which will greatly benefit from the larger amount of cache on the X3D series processors versus the regular Ryzen 7000 series. And it is highly likely that AMD will overtake Intel 13th gen CPUs in most of the gaming benchmark charts. But we will have to wait for independent testing and reviews to confirm that. By the way, I do not think that i9-13900KS is a valid argument in Intel's favor, as it is only 2-5% faster than 13900K on average, and you have to use ultra-expensive DDR5-7200 memory to get to that 5% increase. With a more adequate DDR5-6400 memory, you only get extra 2% versus 13900K, which is almost nothing. One thing to consider if you are planning to buy one of the Ryzen 7000 X3D CPUs is that you will have to update chipset drivers and BIOS on your motherboard for it to work. Thankfully, all AM5 motherboards have BIOS flash feature to make it easier, but that is an extra step which some plug-and-play lovers may be reluctant to take. Motherboards manufactured in the near future will most likely ship with an up-to-date BIOS allowing a simple drop-in installation of the X3D processors, but until then beware that there are extra steps in that installation process. 
Now you can choose another one of my videos to watch next. And do let me know in the comments below what you think about the new AMD processors with 3D vCache. Also, if you enjoyed this video, then you know what to do. It was I, Vadim, until next time.